Hey there, it's Amy from prettypurpledoor.com and today I want to show you how you can take brand new bricks and give them an antiqued look. And I'm going to go over some uh, tools and some materials that you can use to get that look that you want without having to find and reclaim old bricks. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get some inspiration photos. So this is the look that I'm going for. You may not want something this um, varied in color. So just make sure you go online and take a look and find something that you really like and that way you can go off of that. Now I picked these up for 25 cents each. Even though they're new bricks, they do have some variation in them, which I like too. They have some grays and some reds um, mixed in already. So I'm off to a good start without even doing anything. Some of the materials that you'll need are paint brushes. You can use a regular paintbrush, something old that you have lying around. Um, this is a chip brush, which is a really good option. I like these too, just these spongy brushes because they're disposable. You can just toss them when you're done. Other than that, I have some paper towels and some water. All you need to do, I'm wearing gloves clearly because I'm already a mess while I'm doing this. And I'm going to start with my favorite, this whitewash pickling. So I take my brush. I've already mixed this up, this whitewash, and you're going to at first go really light. You don't want to do too much. Um, so I'm going to wipe the brush off a lot and I'm just going to start dabbing it along here. And actually, you know, that's not doing as much as I want it to. So I'm going to add a little bit more, but make sure you start like small so that you're not putting too much on because it's much harder to take this stuff off than it is to uh, put it on. Another thing that you're going to notice as you do this is that as this absorbs into the brick, it's going to fade. So you might actually have it to do a couple coats or um, really glop it on here. See how I'm glopping? Glopping. Is that a term? <laughs> it's not really a real word, but whatever. You know what I mean. So I'm glopping this on and I'm sort of going after the look of this brick here, which it has this white, but a lot of the brick is still showing. Now, a lot of this is going to fade and to speed up that drying process, what I'm going to do is just take a paper towel and I'm going to dab it. Now you could do this just to get the effect of having it faded like this, but if you leave it on, it's going to end up looking a little bit like this anyway. Um, as it dries, it's going to, it's going to fade quite a bit, but you can see the difference here. So here's, um, here's a, a brick that I haven't done anything to, and you could already see the, um, pickling effect that this is giving it. So I'm just going to go over again and you know, you, you could, you could go side to side like this, or you could dab it like I was doing earlier. It's really up to you and the look that you want to get, but um, get creative with this. This is a fun process. I find painting like so zen. I don't know. So we're going to do that. Dab it again. And okay, we're going to set this one aside a little bit so that I can show you some of the other options. So here's a different brick. And if I want to go dark, I'm going to try my, um, my special walnut here, which is really dark, a really dark stain you can see. And this is going to react a lot differently. So watch this. Um, let's see here. We have some of these bricks here that have that darker look to it. So you'll see here and look how it absorbs. It's, it's really neat. You could actually change the entire color of the brick with some of this stain and you don't have to do all of it. You can kind of pick and choose. Just make sure that you're paying attention to these edges. These edges have a lip, and you don't want to just forget about all of the edges. It'll, it'll look kind of weird, but you know, that's good for now. I think I'm going to dip in again here and I'm going to darken just an area and you can see now it's not absorbing into the brick as well. Cause it's still absorbing the, the layer before. So, um, when you do this, it's going to give you that like layered, um, texture, like a deeper look to it instead of it looking like you just sort of slapped on one color of stain. It's going to look like you did a lot more than you really did as you layer the color on. Okay. And then do a little bit more here again and get this one really dark. That's kind of cool. And, uh, 
I'm gonna just dab this again like well, I have the white on here too but that looks kind of cool I'm just using the the same towel from the previous uh, brick and it had that whitewash on it. it has a little bit of that on it for me wiping it so dabbing the whitewash over the dark uh, woods looks pretty cool actually I like that so um, no mistakes we're a little Bob Ross here um, no mistakes only happy accidents and to me that was pretty happy ac accident there okay so another option is this um, driftwood color it's a light gray um, this is like totally like rank I don't even know what's going on with this stain um, it shouldn't be this like gloppy but we're gonna go with it anyway because this is just to show you some different color options and um, let's see I'm just gonna kind of tap this in here to the middle and you know this is a lot like lighter than I would like um, a better option for this gray color would probably be um, like I think uh, rust-oleum makes a uh, one called weathered gray and that'll give you this like bluish gray tone here so what I'm doing now is I'm just sort of rubbing and I'm wiping off this this driftwood and uh, yeah as you can see it's a, like I said it's much easier to put it on than it is to take it off so let me just dip this uh, towel in the water a little bit too and see what I can do here to get some of this off like if you do make a mistake um, this is fine for me but just trying to show you if you do make a mistake um, the difficulties you're going to have with uh, kind of wiping this so not going to be the best option but let's see what we do uh, what happens if I put some of this other stain on top you know that might disguise some of that color for you if if that's what you're going for and you think that the gray was too light you could kind of go over that here with um, that um, what is this special walnut again so another good option here and you can see the variation this is the original brick color here and here's a darker one and here's our whitewash which is kind of dried up now which is uh, looking pretty good this is this willow color so there's a lot of these like weird colors now lots of colored stains you can pick from I tend to go to like Ollie's or Big Lots or places like that that sell these uh, strange colors that aren't like in stock anymore and I just grab these like little cans you can get them for a dollar or two so here I have willow which is almost like if it was on wood it would make it like an unfinished wood sort of look even lighter than unfinished wood here we go here I put a lot on this one here and I'm gonna take a paper towel again and I'm just gonna remove some of this okay now the trick is to mix these together and actually when I did my patio I did not paint I did not pre-paint the bricks this is just a demonstration here what I would recommend is using your straight up uh, same colored bricks or if you want you can buy multiple colors you can get like a gray and a red and uh, make your pattern or make your brick walkway or your uh, patio with the bricks unpainted and I would do this in place so that's what I did and it worked out really well and I'll show you some pictures of that as of my patio as well when it was complete so you can see here that my willow sort of faded quite a bit um, I'm just gonna add some more here to it and I like I like to do that I just I kind of push down and just let it flow naturally to where it wants to go and I find that like a really it gives a really natural look in the end so I'm gonna leave this on like really heavy like this so you can see what happens to it later okay so I'm back and these are fairly dry I did dab these with a paper towel just to get them to a point where I could show you but at the top here we have this is a this is the one with, that we did with the uh, whitewash pickling liquid from Minwax and here's a comparison just to show you uh, the regular brick versus the pickling liquid so you could keep applying more and more pickling liquid you might have to do several coats to get um, some we already did several coats but you might even have to do more as it sinks in so just keep that in mind um, the second one one part paint acrylic paint to four parts water and here it is compared to the regular 
uh, straight up brick that I bought. And here it is compared to the pickling liquid. So a similar effect, I'd say, uh, with both of these. The other one that we did was here um, with the, we did some brown um, Minwax special walnut with uh, some of the white over top of it, the white pickling. So there's that compared and you can see the difference. It, it really did make a big difference on this one, the coloring. And <clears throat> this is with that willow, um, that natural wood color. I hope this is helpful to you in uh, creating your faux antique brick. And uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And I'm gonna be shooting a series of videos um, that are going to help you to go through the process of creating a faux antique brick patio. I, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about how to how to sort of break these bricks up, make them look more antiques, and how to fit all of that into a circle pattern. I'll see you in the next video.